say no one died, no one got hurt. Anyway, I'll do another video on this particular issue, and I'm sure you'll see what I mean if you watch that video. Now, I made a video about this eclipse, and I said that I had seen one in my life, but it was so long ago, and then it's before all this was blown up, and the internet to share information, and it was really uh, fuzzy in my memory as to exactly what happened of it, and things went dark, etc. Uh, but I was suggesting, and we're going to see the moon coming right across here, and people are going to be able to film all this, and it's going to be, you know, real good evidence for whatever, and... It certainly looks now, I can remember now watching this, it, this is what it was like, but I can remember not seeing anything coming across properly, it just goes dark, and here I'll show you, here's the amateur footage, so it says, but you know, I don't know what I can trust here, hopefully some people in America on the path of totality can say, is this accurate for what they saw, give us an idea, and certainly there should be more amateur stuff up and around, first search I did when I didn't put the word amateur in, I just got NASA on NASA and thought, well, this is no good, but we will look at that in this video. Let's just look at this, uh, of the actual eclipse, allegedly amateur, I'll show you the video, by, oh, who cares, only 100 views, uh, 2017, from Western Oregon. And I did get sent a video and it had no eclipse and the guy was very disappointed and he reckoned he was in the path of totality. So that's just another little issue there we should look at. We'll have to do a couple of videos to get all the information out uh, about this thing. And it's worth covering because it certainly has been a, a certain event. And I'm going to show you a video here that uh, I came across that clearly shows that uh, virtually nothing they ever tell us stands up when you actually take a look at it. Now that's interesting the way it gets bigger for a second, isn't it? Now if some disc was coming across that shouldn't necessarily happen and you should be starting to see some black on one side, shouldn't you? anything coming over the top of it. Oh my god. <coughs> it's insane, it's just a piece of black stuck over something. 
thing on a screen somewhere. I mean, that makes no sense whatsoever. And here's some purported amateur footage. But I came across this in the middle of the footage, this kid with the stripes. So, this looks very strange too, indeed. Just watch this in the Ryan camera. Mm -hmm. It's a bit with the kid. What they're doing? Covering the sun. That's so cool. It looks so cool with this. Where's his footage? Pictures of him. Oh, here we go. What we are up to here. Veneers. Certainly nothing like what we saw in the other footage now, is it? Oh, look, it changed colour. Oh, 
into that guy's head, mostly. So I'll do a bit more research and I'll get back with another video on this topic, maybe in a couple of days. Uh, so I'll look more and more, it becomes evident, maybe a bit more footage. I'll have one more look at parameter footage. Some very, very interesting footage here indeed too. Looks like a mock-up. There's no uh, footage at all of any setup or daylight. It's just all night time. It goes for 41 minutes. This doesn't seem right now, does it? Here to here. Let's have a quick look. Here's the last bit. This one makes no sense whatsoever. Looks like a lot of people have jumped in and just uh, made footies just to try and uh, do a floppy disk and get it very floppy. Stick with the stain colour, I see. Mm, 44 views, so certainly isn't a promoted video, but it looks like a lot of people could have mocked up things for this. So it's going to take a little bit of work to go on what's real and what's not. A few people might be able to help me with this and what they think is reasonably uh, good. And we'll have a look at it. But what I'm seeing so far, it seems like a real big mishmash. Uh, that's going to suit them, isn't it? I think people aren't really sure. Most people just go, oh, well, I suppose it's like that, and go back and do what they're doing. They don't really think about it. It's one of those gifts that just keeps on giving the pyramids of Egypt story and the Sphinx as well, of course, and now the tunnels under the Sphinx. And I mean, this has been getting pushed around for a few years, but they put a video up and somehow it's had a million views. 15,000 likes, 1.1 dislikes. Zohar Stargate Ancient Discoveries. Of course, Graham Hand, Handyman, was in the thing, and this guy was interesting. Uh, Schwaller de Lubowitz, de Lubitz or something. In the works of 1920 scholar Schwaller de Lubitz, John Anthony West discovered that conventional Egyptologists had overlooked an important detail. The water erosion. So you hear somewhere, where is he? Second. Here he is. Those years of very heavy rainfall. But there was no rainfall like that in Egypt in the time of the pharaohs either. Uh, the Giza Plateau was as dry. Yes, he goes on to say that the Giza Plateau was dry 4,000 years ago. But uh, at four and a half, four one two for our seven, of course. But uh, 12,000 years ago. Haven't we seen a lot of twelves? The Queen and the twelve months idea at the be on that. Because we know the twelve, reverse twenty-one, triple seven. Yes, I think this here is a very clear picture of the old Sphinx, one of the clearest I've seen, and I think it really just sums it all up here. Uh, you know, back in the eighteen eighties, tourism. And uh, you've got to have a cheap tent show. This certainly is one. You know, the difference on each side here. And looking like uh, the old corn of Crete here, definitely. Yes, and uh, we have 25 for 7 coming up. Processional cycle before that, the previous age of Leo, which would be 25,920 years before that. The age of Leo recurs every... 92, 11, 7, 11. Now, the title of this book by William Dietrich, The Diet of the Rich here, uh, Napoleon's Pyramids, now the apostrophe S, of course, is like personal possession of, i.e. created. Uh, otherwise, it should be Napoleon at the Pyramids. But Napoleon's Pyramids, that 
sort of uh, really tells you, <laughs> and is that a key? Man, this is the key to it all. Now, this picture here would make a very nice postage stamp. And you seem to be stamped all over the old pyramids, the old Napoleon. And we know in the pyramids they had Abel written. But uh, the red hair, very interesting depiction of Napoleon indeed. Uh, funny looking pyramid here, a little bit lean to the left. But the smoky look, I like the smoky, the pyramids in the distance look here. And for things like this, we always have the very memorable quotes from these heights. 40 centuries look down upon us. And you know, 40 days and nights comes to mind. Now, what an interesting image this one is here, an early engraving. The head seems to be closer to the uh, pyramid than usual, and certainly no feet. And a marvellous uh, image here from Johann the Baptist. Home man. Home man. Now, that's an interesting name. And uh, look here, the Sphinx is looking at the pyramid. And way smaller. There's a strange little one here as well. Very interesting indeed. That is certain when we look back at the old images. Not so big here either. And looking rather rough in this uh, one, a little bit more like a miniature Himalayas, looks snow capped indeed. Well, I uh, tell you what, eh? Look at the size of it here. And hasn't got quite the same headdress. And uh, looking much more African too from this shot here. Uh, this is a very early looking photograph here and certainly no feet yet. And they said they had to pull the sand away. I thought it was. That looks more like rock to me. And this big shadow gives us our usual. Yeah, it's interesting image here too. Looks like somebody's been putting some sand around here for some reason. And uh, no sphinx in this image. Maybe it's out of view, but maybe this is the ridge. Looking awfully like it. Sort of something like what. You know, it was the ridge for the Sphinx. Yes, no Sphinx here either. Ah, uh, here she is. The black-headed Sphinx. Very interesting here indeed, how it seems to move around. Now, uh, just note the uh, pyramids. We've got this little one over the back here. Uh, and we'll go to the uh, other image here. in front of it. Now you can see that in the other image. It certainly is the mystery sphinx. Or well, maybe yes, there is a couple of the ones. Certainly that's definitely different around the bottom there to uh, this one here, isn't it now? Because the Sphinx, as I mentioned, is perfectly aligned on due east. Perfect. That's the work of people who are studying the sky. Oh, here it is. Orange is the new black and the drilling. I feel you perhaps already know. I, I mean, I'm not a big conspiracy theorist, but... No, not at all. You're creating the big conspiracy here, 12,000 years there, right? But there have subsequently been drilling and investigation projects under the Sphinx, which have been... So you use the men in uh, black, as it were. Let's don't forget orange is a new black. And look at the brickwork here. And that should uh, let you know the uh, origin of the whole idea here. Look, it's like a bag-ass wall idea over bricks. Passed off as being to do with clearing groundwater from. Here it is. Here's the drill. They're finding the under caverns of the Sphinx with the drill. Sphinx, but I wonder if that's what they were really doing. I don't think we're being told the whole truth. Uh, about what thirty thousand years ago? 
I would anticipate finding, if there is something in those chambers beneath the Sphinx, is the records of those earlier civilizations that ex- Well, this is the uh, end game of some sort brewing here. Of course, we've talked about this to do with Jerusalem, but the same will go for uh, Egypt. Nothing like a few old dusty books in the chambers. So we can uh, look forward to that. And, uh, Graham and this other guy here, they're anticipating it now. Drilling and investigation projects under the Sphinx, which have been passed up. I mean, this should really show anyone how he's talking about this. I just had to go back and have a look at this again, because look here. <laughs> look what's happening here. We have the drill. Then what could they possibly be doing anyway? I mean, it just doesn't stand to rhyme or reason. And then Graham's uh, commentary over the top. Just think about what he's saying. This is no investigation into anything anyway, but just the way the hype of it all. Dolph has been to do with clearing groundwater from under the Sphinx, but... Let <laughs> me show you this. With the purple bucket. No, truly. This just... The whole house collapses here. I wonder if that's what they were really doing. I don't think we're being told the whole truth. Uh... <laughs> no, well, certainly, Graham, I don't think you're going to tell us the truth either. So, yes, you see Napoleon's pyramids and Graham Hancock and the drill and this guy in the background. Yes, letting out the groundwater. I swear to you, they've had the water in this bucket and tipped this here. So there's no groundwater there anyway. But I wonder if that's what they were really doing. I don't think we've... She's got the tea low, circle high, circle low. The tea birds like uh, Monty said, circle high, circle low. Showing you where they're circling and uh, twerking. And 77, Sunset Strip. And a lovely little uh, reference to uh, Oz coming here. Is he Green Street or Greek Street? Green Street, no doubt. Christmas. Um, any chance of coming down to uh, the land of Oz again? Yeah, yeah. We're thinking Definitely. about it. Uh, what we're doing this year, though, is we're kind of taking it a little bit easier. We're taking it a little bit easier because. We're pregnant. Uh, I'm pregnant too, you know. I've got to, I've got to take it easy. But. Uh, so Keeping the arms right up over the uh, belly area here we have four. And here we have it. Green Street Mayfair. What an interesting doorway there. As you imagine.
bathroom here at Amazon. When you walk into an Amazon fulfillment center, it's like walking into the chocolate factory and you want a golden ticket. It's an amazing feeling. My three-year-old, when we get a box delivered, he gets excited. He screams, Mommy's work. When the pandemic started, we started shipping out all the safety stuff that would keep it associated safe to all the other Amazons. All of these are face masks. We've sent well over 10 million plugs. And it smells like a bottle of vodka. So when we first got these, we were like, whoa! <laughs> With this pandemic, safety is even more important because they're going home to babies. They're going home to grandparents. So our responsibility is to make sure that they go home safe every single day. strange week here uh, and around the world too a lot of strange stories as we've seen but uh, certainly this uh, Bogdanov stuff has been pretty interesting now I saw it turn up and I just couldn't help but make a bit of a video, it was just such a laugh to me, but I did cover it no doubt, a bit different to what most people will cover it because it was about controlling the Rothschilds and I was more focusing on the whole tea idea but I could see that it was an over-the-top thing, and I suggested that in the video. Probably not enough on reviewing the video. I was just so gobsmacked by the images I was looking at because they were just real blow-away. Uh, anyone that's seen it would know. <clears throat> it looks like some sort of mark set up, you know, at the bottom of the thing, of course, reminding us of the mask and the crimson chin. But, of course, most people aren't going to cover that. They're just going to cover that it's plastic surgery. That's... And uh, as we know, people just don't cover things like that. But somehow I've uh, been able to get a lot of views for a video, which is the first time in a few years. And certainly I'm expecting any minute now to really curb all down. But it's just one that got out of the gate a bit. At least I have covered that uh, idea. And of course we've just seen something strange out of Florence too, uh, or in Charlotte, to do with Florence. Yes, so a Google News search uh, reveals how much this is being promoted, just like Bogdanov. So it's interesting what they sanction and what they don't. They certainly don't sanction Die David and uh, many other things that uh, certain channels here have highlighted this fact. It, uh, So they've got a whole thing, pictures here too, the fake picture ideas. See, so they're sort of bombarding us from every way. So most people will, in the end, dismiss this as, oh, it's just a glitch in the system. Here's a thing I found here from Brian Stetler. S.T. Stetler. But uh, this is a little idea here. You know, which is obvious garbage, but this shows you, you know, the public aren't going to hone in on this anyway, even though they'll watch the video. Some people will, so it's a bit interesting how they've let something out. But I guess it's a bit like a pressure cooker. You've got to somehow uh, release the uh, pressure every now and again. And here's Donald with the purple tie. The purple flower gang strikes again. The purple here with Brian. And here we go. He's even got the purple collar. And the IOL's in purple. Where there's a slight tinge of purple here on the ground, too, I noticed. But, yeah. I mean, look at the view counts here. I haven't pulled this up. No community guidelines were issued on there. So, strange indeed how uh, many videos there are on this, you see, all of a sudden. But, uh, all sorts of strange channels, but, uh, Pretty mainstreamy ones, so interesting indeed. So people are already making parodies. I mean, yeah, you know, just really something a bit of fodder. But after this, it'll be just a laugh, and they'll try. You know, they'll have a little explanation, and it'll just vanish off. Certainly, it's interesting how all these channels just spring up doing this, but they don't seem to want to do other things. That's what I'm uh, questioning here. Anyway, I'm going to look a bit more into these guys because they're quite interesting, actually, the scientific aspect to all this. 
bits involved, and uh, of course the ongoing Rothschild sale. Now remember, Rothschild hinges on Waterloo. Funny enough, I just looked up Bob Dannenoff Waterloo. Yeah, so we had Bracier Bogdanoff and Tony Bogdanoff, University of Waterloo, which uh, seems to be in Ontario, so that's certainly somewhere we should be looking at. Uh, part of the old Waterloo. Now, Lou in Australia, I don't know what you, you call the same thing, but it's the same as a dunny, so you can look that up. And uh, water. This reminds me of uh, Fukushima. I mean, one of the searches uh, when you just type in Bogdanoff and they fill in things for you is this where it came up a little we'll bit, have a look at that, and it is, of course, an obvious transformation going on here. So, interesting. Uh, already a bit of a story here, as we can see. 68, of course, several, sev, and 6 plus 8, 14. Double set. So, uh, and they are Igor and Richka, and well named for the Western media indeed. So, this is Stern, Herman. Herman things. So many Herman things we've discovered lately. It's just everywhere I look, there's that name coming at me. We always knew about uh, Herman Munster. So, that's another idea in itself. They're big with Bitcoin as we can see. The Brothers Crypto. Out of the crypt. And yeah, certainly a good look at Waterloo will be uh, required. Uh, you can go back in my videos. There were videos done by uh, David Johnson and some have been done by Histros. There's a few people uh, else that have done things like this. Maybe Yeeman. Might be someone, a guy called Zero Eleven Channel. He's mirrored some of Dave's work. Very limited amount around. This would be a really good one for the old hoax buster guy to uh, look at too, I must admit. He's been very quiet for a while, but that would be awesome. Because such amount hinges on the Battle of Waterloo. Yes, and uh, on a Google search engine, the first thing you get is a Vivo video of none other than Abba. Abba the father. But Aleph, Aleph, and uh, Beth, Beth. Of course, Beth, feminine, Aleph, masculine. And here's Anna Fried and Agneta. And Benny and Bjorn. Or, yeah, Bjorn and Benny. BB and AA. Very interesting indeed. 